Sirach chapter 26, verse 14, and it reads, A silent and loving woman is a gift of the Lord. And there is nothing so much worth as a mind well instructed. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostle slash elder bitches of Great Millstone, the one that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible, peace, blessings, and safety. To all you sincere items, keep pushing, keep believing, keep, keep the faith. Regards of people here, forbear. A silent woman, a silent and loving woman, not a loud mouth bitch, but a silent and loving woman, a woman who knows when to keep her mouth shut. Ain't got to always be heard. A silent and loving woman is a gift from the Lord. I got, I got to get that scripture again. Ain't nobody reading this scripture. Ain't nobody. Everybody, you, you know everything up under the sun, but you don't know this scripture right here. You Israelite women, Negro, Latino, and they don't make any. They want, the Lord is tired of you bitches. Horrible judgment is coming upon each and every last one of you Israelite women that don't repent. Horrible judgment. The hell, you, you think getting locked up is bad? You ain't seen bad yet. Repent and turn from your nonsense. Turn from your wicked ways. You follow the ways of the serpent. You know what I'm saying you, you, you're lost and turned the hell out. But but the Lord got serious judgment coming for you. Let's get this for you, hopeful elect sisters out there. Take heed. Take heed. Sirach chapter 20. And you go to these different nations. Nobody want to hear your damn mouth. All right? Nobody wants to hear your damn mouth. All right? Because anytime something, you open your mouth, nothing but filth comes out of it. Right? Nothing but filth comes out of your mouth. And people are tired of it. All right? Henceforth, if you got that passport, bro, it's so bad with you damn women, which the word woman means servant. I'm, I'm going to say with you bitches. Because you got Israelite bros, you know what I'm saying? Going across seas just to find a decent woman. This silent and loving and caring and nurturing. This shit is crazy. But it's all part of prophecy because the Lord going to bright burn you bitches soon come. And I got that from Elder Kazak Ya'ala. The Lord gonna come back and bright burn you bitches. Soon come. So Rock chapter 26, verse 14. This is just something quick. It's just outrageous with you damn women. You think you can say anything at any time. The Lord gonna start smacking you bitches down to the floor. Real, real talk is spirits creative event is already active, yo. Getting at you too, man. Some of y'all is in some basements right about now. We're wishing that you could go home. It's too late though, man. A silent and loving woman is a gift of the Lord. Not a talkative ass bitch. This is constantly just running her mouth and don't know what the hell she's talking about. Because this serpent has given her the liberty to run her damn mouth without consequences. But for every action, there's a reaction. The Lord is starting to speak loud and clear. You see? And there is nothing so much worth. You, you can't put a price on her, a silent and loving woman. She's priceless. And the majority of us haven't, even, haven't never met that. Brothers in their 20s, 30s, 40s, maybe 50s, 60s have never seen a silent and loving woman before. In 50, 60 damn years. But the Lord's going to bring it back. The Lord's going to bring it back. That silent loving woman, she's coming back upon the face of her. It's going to take some serious judgment to make it happen, though. And there is nothing so much worth as a mind well instructed. Let's get into a little bit of this article. I got a couple more scriptures, then, then I'm going to wrap it up. Hey, remember, remember you Israelite women out there, because this is basically who this lesson is for. A silent and loving woman, a nurturing woman, a caring woman, not a loud mouth bitch, is a gift of the Lord. Houston woman detained in Dubai, charged with screaming in public. See, see, they don't allow that over there in the east. That loud mouth shit. Uh, you can be heard way down and down. You can be heard two damn blocks away. 
Don't you see men are tired of it, yo? You, you can't see that? You're going to catch so much hell over here in Babylon and throughout the four corners of the earth, but mainly here in Babylon, the Lord's going to strip you of everything. Lord, what will, this is some short. You see it every damn day, every, every talk show, every video, when you come outside at the damn restaurant, at the mall, every damn well, number of loud mouth bitches, and they think it's cool. Disrespectful ass women, they have made this the norm now. Well, women don't show no one respect, but you will though. Even if the Lord had to take you off this good green earth. Even if the Lord had to take the majority of you, and that's the, the majority of the Israelites, you know what I'm saying, are women. So it's going to be more women that perish in this generation than men. Because there's more Israelite women than men. She's just locked the hell up now for screaming in public. They don't play that over there. Over here in Sleazy Easy and Bizarro World, you get to act a fool over here. All over there. And then what was it? Um Guyana, I think it was. Twerking all twerking on top of the slave. Where the slave where the hell the slaves at? You and the, you Israelite women are an embarrassment to the whole nation. And look, and the ninjas too, these ninjas too. These Israelite men, but this ain't about the men right now. This is about you loud mouth bitches. You an embarrassment, man. Ain't you women that's supposed to be so-called Israelite sisters? You a damn embarrassment to our nation, man. What to say the last two months are described as terrifying? You ain't seen terrifying yet. They need to lock the majority of you damn women up, you Israelite women up, and throw away the damn key. Never let you out again. She over there crying and fussing and fighting, trying to get back home to, to come over here and do what? Not change? You, you're not trying to come back over to America. You're not trying to get back to America to change your ways. The last two months are described as terrifying for a Houston woman, a Houston bitch. Ain't nothing womanly about this woman. The word woman means female servant. Wait over there in Dubai, naked as hell. Who we're told, who we're told is being detained in Dubai. So why is she being held? And everybody wants to know, inquiry mind wants to know why she's being held. The crime Tierra Young Allen is charged with may surprise you. Yeah, yeah, surprise it over here in the West. Because all you got is loud mouth bitches over here, disrespectful bitches over here in the West. So, yeah, it's shocking. It's surprising that she got locked up for screaming, for running her damn mouth. Dubai is increasingly a vacation destiny, destination for a number of Houston women. Now, one is trying to get back to the Bayou City. But we're told her passport has been confiscated because her mom says she's being charged with the crime of screaming in public. Damn right. The Lord needs to make more examples of you women. You so-called Negro, Latino, and Native Americans. And the Lord don't give a damn if you don't like it. You see, matter of fact, let's get a scripture right quick. Because they despise this word. This is, look, you, you Israelite women, you remember this scripture. When you wanna when you wanna raise your voice. And yeah, like a bitch, just remember this scripture. A silent and loving woman is the gift of the Lord. Are you silent and loving? Are you nurturing? Or you, or you a so-called Israelite sister with a head wrapped, still at like a, a an American bitch? You can't serve two gods, yo. You either going to serve Yahweh through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, or you're going to serve Sleazy E. You can't do both, man. Well, let's get this though. I want, I want to get this though. Because all you hear every every time you turn around is these damn clamorous ass women. Just bear with me. Proverbs chapter 9, verse 13 in the reads A foolish woman is clamorous. Uh, just talking all damn day. Just talk, look, talking about nothing. Ain't talking about nothing productive. A foolish woman is clamorous. Just sitting around all damn day. Tattle telling, telling every damn thing, telling what's going on in the household, giving all her man information to another man or to another damn woman. Everybody knows everything about her husband. 
She's clamorous. A foolish woman is clamorous, but not a silent and loving woman. She is simple. The average Israelite woman is simple as shit. But they think they so smart. You simple as shit. And know of nothing. But just because you got a college degree, you got a couple of plaques on the wall, you still simple as shit. You still don't know nothing. Because if you knew anything, to see, see, the beginning of wisdom is to fear the Lord. That's how we know you don't know shit. That's, that's how we know. Matter of fact, let's just get it right quick. That's how we know these women don't know shit. Because they don't fear the Lord. They simple as shit. Clamorous, always a foolish woman, right? And that's exactly what went over there to Dubai. A foolish woman, right? A woman that just couldn't stop running her damn mouth because she's been getting away with it for so long over here in America. What does it say? Proverbs chapter 1, verse 7. The fear of the Lord Yahweh through his only begotten son Yahweh shot, which everybody's going to know soon come, is the beginning of knowledge. But fools, we just read about that, right? A foolish woman. But fools, blockheads, meatballs, jackasses, and my, my, my tablet just ch chimed in. But fools despise wisdom and instruction. You can't correct these hyenas. You can't correct these gorillas. They know it all already. They know everything except for what they need to know according to the Bible. But you think your plaque on the wall makes you smart. The Lord said, they, they that be wise in this life, you know what I'm saying, or a.k.a. in this world, let them become a fool that they may become wise according to the scriptures. Because the wisdom of this world is foolish to the most high, right? Bear with me. Let's go back to the article. It could, down, down at the bottom, it also, her screaming in public in Dubai, that chick, that, that witch, that shameless dog, we're going to get that scripture, Lord willing to. Look, it also could result in prison time. Her yelling and screaming over there in Dubai, guess what? It could result in prison time. She's been over there locked the hell up for two months. They need to throw away the damn key. How about that? They need to throw away the key. Guess what that's called? That's called judgment. That's called judgment. It also could result in prison time. So it's very scary. No, no, don't get scared now. Don't get scared now, right? Explain Alan's mom. No, no, you taught your you taught your daughter to be a gangster bitch. Don't get scared for it now. Tina Baxter, who says the trip turned turn terrifying for her daughter, Tierra Young Allen, when she was a passenger in a friend's rental car and they got into an accident there in Dubai. See? See? Just walk around, selfies, not paying attention to what the hell is going on. Then it got into an accident. Everything's going to come out. Baxter said, says when her daughter went to the rental car company to retrieve her ID, credit card, and other items left in the rental, it didn't go well. Because your daughter's a loud mouth bitch. She found out she could only receive those items if she paid an undisclosed amount of money. Ain't you dying? You say you, you, you chasing a bag, right? You say you a boss bitch. These, these, these Israelite women are broke as shit. They barely got $5 in their account. Everything is coming out on these Israelite women. You see? They got to go to Dubai and let somebody shit on them just to get a bag. Everything is coming out on you Israelite women, man. There's nothing here that shall not be revealed. You see? What it say? She look, She dealt with an aggressive individual. No, no, she was aggressive. A, a young man there who was screaming at her because that bitch started screaming first. But look, look, Bach back her ads. She won't even be there. She's just taking her daughter's word for it, man. Come on, man. Taking her word off face value. And she says her 29-year-old daughter, that whore, that bitch, that shameless dog, immediately yelled back, uh, resulting in her daughter being charged for screaming there in Dubai. But let's get let's, let's, let's the scripture right quick. So the daughter was yelling and screaming, right? Let's just get this. This right here, the look, paying that fine, you know what I'm saying? You, you a boss bitch, right? Paying that fine, you know what I'm saying? And this scripture right here, you know what I'm saying? Everything would have been fine. See, remember, train up a child in the way they should go, according to the Bible, and they should never depart. See, her mama probably ain't had no husband. You see, she's single as hell, so she, she ain't, ain't no dad around. So you got number single, bitter ass women, you know what I'm saying? Gremlins raising these daughters, man. And you, you see the end result. See, see what happens when you take, you know what I'm saying, the husband out the household. See when you take the father out the household. Says when the father is in the household, it, it established the household. You see? But the, uh, the but the woman, the single woman, uprooted the foundation of the house. And the whole house is out of their control. You see? 
And then you wonder why your daughters and your sons and every damn body else screaming at your ass, you see? Because it won't no dad there to discipline the shit. Proverbs chapter 15, verse 1, a soft answer. When, when she went to go retrieve her items from that car, a soft answer and her paying the fee, that's all she had to do. But no, them loud mouth bitches from the West, you know what I'm saying, got to go over there and just shake their ass, twerk, and run their damn mouth like they still in the West. You forgot you're not in the West. You're not in Kansas anymore. you in the Middle East, all right? And they got laws and they got rules that they'll abide by. And you're going to abide by them. You see? But the earth is being ran by the wicked. So they act just like this man, right? Proverbs 15 and 1. A soft answer. Turn away rap. One thing she had to do. And you answer like when you take notes. A soft answer. Not that gangster shit. A soft answer. Turn off away rap. Because for every action, there's a reaction. She better be glad she's still alive. Everybody crying. She been locked up. She locked up for two, three months. You better be glad she's still alive. But grievous words. That's what she came with, right? That loud mouth shit, right? Not silent and loving and caring, but that loud mouth shit, right? But grievous words, stir or strife, probably went over there shaking her damn head. No, I'm an American. I'm an American. They don't give a damn over there. They don't give a damn over there, man. Now, now you locked up and now your mama worried. Your mama won't worry when she taught you how to act like a bitch. She won't worry about your dick. She won't worry about the consequences of raising you like a whore and like a bitch, giving you all this liberty. You see? The scripture goes into how giving all these women liberty, they destroy themselves with too much liberty. Just gadding abroad two, three, four o'clock in the damn morning, horse attire. These women supposed to have on modest apparel. You see, you seen the videos, man, of that girl walking around Dubai, naked as hell, tattoos everywhere, tight ass dresses, trying to go over there and be a truck driver. You women have lost him. She is in jail. Look, look, she's in jail for one reason and one reason only. She raised her voice, which you don't supposed to do. You didn't read the laws first. You mean to tell me your daughter was so smart? She said she was smart, right? You mean to tell me she didn't read the laws? The thing, the, the way she had to conduct herself over there in Dubai. You see, you, you smart, right? Your daughter's so smart, right? You didn't tell your daughter that when she goes over there, she can't be running her mouth like a loud mouth bitch like she do over here in the USA. You didn't tell her that? She is in jail for one reason, one reason only. She raised her voice in that country. A female is not even allowed to raise her voice. Damn right. Damn right. If that law no saying was established over here in Babylon, it'll be better relationships. But we already know it ain't going to be that way because the Lord wants to destroy this place and everything that ain't right in it. And it's going to be beautiful to see more judgment come upon you wicked ass women. And you hopeful elect ladies, look, look, stay in order. Stay in order. Those spirits created with Venus ain't giving a damn about a pretty face or some nice breasts or a, a, a nice backside. They, they don't give a damn about that, man. Let's get another scripture. Bear with me. Sirach chapter 25. Sirach chapter 26. Verse 25 in the Good News Translation. A self-willed woman is a bitch. Do you Israelite women not hear this? You self-will. Have no constraint. You can just do anything at any time. A self-willed woman is a bitch. A female dog, all right? A shameless woman shall be counted as a bitch, all right? But a woman with a sense of decency honors the Lord. And that ain't the majority of you Negro, Latino, and Native American Indian women. You don't walk around with no kind of decency whatsoever. All right? And the Lord going to judge you for the spirits created with vengeance. They're active, man. So I just want to bring up a couple of scriptures. Well, matter of fact, we'll, we'll, we'll read this one more time. And I, and I got I got like one more, and then I'm gone. A shameless woman, man. A self-willed woman. So Rock chapter 26, verse 25 in the Good News translation. Coming straight out of the Good News Bible. A self-willed woman is a bitch. But a woman, and that's all you see walking around. 
Self will whores, man. Ain't shit of Izzo's, man. But a woman with a sense of decency honors the Lord. A wife who honors, and the majority of you Israelite women are single as hell. I don't need a man. Fair for sleeves these lies. You the only women walk around saying you don't need a man. You the only women walk around stupid as hell talking about you don't need a man. You Israelite women are stupid as shit. The, the scripture just called you, you a bunch of fools. Just walk around all damn day, running your damn mouth, not knowing what the hell you talking about. Just busy, but just gossiping about nothing. A, a bunch of damn basketball wives. You see, with these damn long ass bird claws on your damn fingers. We only know how you, we know you ain't wiping your ass good. You see? We know that box stink. You ain't wiping, you ain't clean up under your arms. You can't do that shit with nails that damn long. Them long ass bird, you know what I'm saying? Bird um fucking eyelashes. What they call them cumbrellas? On your damn eyes, all that damn makeup. You look through out here, man. A wife who honors her husband will seem wise to everyone. But if she dishonors him by her overbearing attitude, by her overbearing attitude, that's the majority of you Israelite women walk around with this overbearing attitude. That's why no one wants you. Henceforth, the passport bros or just bros just, just single as hell like y'all will wait on the Lord. Before we have to deal with you loud mouth bitches, man. You see? Walk around with these damn attitudes and you got everything. This is the craziest thing about it. You women got every damn thing. All the laws are made for y'all. Y'all still walking around with a damn attitude. Everyone will know that she is ungodly. You see? Everyone will know that she's ungodly. Just wicked as hell. Fortunate is the husband of a good wife. Fortunate is the husband of a good wife because he will live twice as long. You wonder why Israelite men die fast? Because they married to a, a fucking bitch, man. They walk around self will naked as hell, with a with a with a with a with an attitude, with an overbearing attitude. Attitude and the Lord's tired of it. You think the men are tired of it? How much more Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai? How much more the Lord? So that chick was judged, man. Isaiah chapter 32, verse 9. Rise up, ye women that are at ease, you women that are at ease, you careless daughters. You see, rise up. You women about to catch pure hell. Rise up, ye women that are at ease, careless as shit, ain't worried about nothing. The Lord's getting to take everything away from you. Real soon, hear my voice. Who's the voice of the Lord? The prophets. Ye careless daughters, don't care about nothing. Give ear unto my speech. Many days and years shall ye be troubled. You're going to be catching a prayer hell soon come. Ye careless women. For the vintage shall fail all your goodies that you've been receiving from sleeves to eat. Your section eight. Your wick. Your food steps. Your, your lavish lifestyles. Your jobs. The Lord is going to take everything away from you. The gathering shall not come. Tremble. You're supposed to be scared when this word comes out. Tremble, ye women that are at ease. Be troubled, ye careless ones. Strip you and make you bare and gird sackcloth upon your loins. You better go into that morning state. It's better to go to the house of mourning than to go to the house of feasting. Because it's the end of all men and women and the living will lay it to his heart. And I, and I got one more and I'm going after this. Lord one of the hopeful elect lady was, was edified. Get your act together, woman. You, you're going to receive some serious judgment from the God of the Bible. He's tired. You can tell the Lord is tired, man. You see? There was written what, what happened a couple of days ago in the news. Where, where she been locked up like two months, you know what I'm saying? But, but it came to the news, came to the forefront. Because everything that's covered shall be made known, right? 
That was for an example. That was to put fear in you women. Second Chronicles chapter 13, Second Chronicles chapter 15, verse 13, that whosoever would not seek the Lord power of Israel, Yahweh, through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, who you're going to call God and Jesus, the power of Israel should be put to death. Whether small or great, whether man or woman. And that's the only thing you're going to see going forth. There's a whole bunch of deletions from the God of the Bible. Houston woman detained in Dubai, charged with screaming in public. A shameless woman shall be counted as a dog. But a silent and loving woman is a gift from the Lord. Shalom.